had no intentions of vlogging this summer at all just because I have baby to worry about but I just felt the urge to vlog today. I did a video yesterday like introducing the baby and I tried to do an about me video. I think I'm going to completely do it over. <sighs> so I don't know how often I'll be vlogging. Probably just whenever the mood strikes me but it's Friday, July 27th. I go to the doctor today. I'm hoping that I get cleared to like drive and just be more active because having to like sit around does not sit well with me. It just doesn't work. I've been up and down the stairs more times than I'm definitely supposed to be and I don't know. I feel fine so hopefully everything's okay. So I'm uh, like semi uptight, high strung person at different times. It really depends. Being pregnant really mellowed me out and I wasn't feeling that way as often. And now that I've had the baby, I'm kind of back to being that way. So it's summer, I wanna focus on being a mother and everything, but I cannot stop thinking about back to school and I'm starting to get overwhelmed. So I think I'm gonna to try to plan out something to focus on each week for what I have left of summer and just try to do a little bit at a time so I'm not freaking out because right now I'm thinking oh my god you know my stepdaughter's gonna be here for a week so I'm not gonna be able to do anything then and I have a whole new course I have to teach I want to get my syllabi put together but I'm waiting on something from my district they're gonna change their grading guidelines or something <sighs> I'm actually hoping that I get cleared to go back to work so I can go to the conference days because right now um, based on when I had my c-section I get eight weeks I would be cleared to go back based on that for the day after Labor Day, which is a conference day. First day of school is that next day, Wednesday. So I don't know. I kind of want to be able to go to the conference days and just get myself together, get in some kind of school mode, and also just kind of have time to like transition into being a mom and a teacher. I've been a workaholic for as long as I can remember, so it's actually really weird for me to not be doing any kind of work. So there's like a couple things I wanna do, like I wanna take all of my inspirational quotes that I put up, like I have a, a quote of the week in my classroom, which you probably, if you've seen my desktop organization video, it was shown in there. And I've had people asking me for the quotes, so I'm putting it together in a product for Teachers Pay Teachers. I wanna get that done. That's been hard though, because the last two days, um, Russell has actually been sleeping really great at night, but not napping during the day unless someone is holding him, which is really annoying because we put him down and literally like 10, 15 minutes later, he's up. So right now he's actually napping and he's been napping for a decent amount of time. So hopefully he's good until I finish my breakfast, which I made and then started vlogging. So I want to wrap this up a little bit quickly and... I don't know, I just wanted to come on here and kind of organize my thoughts a little bit just because, again, I'm so overwhelmed just thinking about everything I have to do for back to school and it's just starting to get to me. So I think today I'm going to make a list and just think things through. One thing that I know I want to do for sure is start meal prepping in bulk on Sunday nights so that that's all kind of like set and prepared for the week so I don't have to worry about it because that's one thing that I'm starting to freak out about now is how am I going to make dinner? So at this point, what I have figured out is I'm going to do my schoolwork at school and if I need to do something at home, if it's something quick and easy that I can do while he's sleeping, I will. And I mean like 20 minutes or less. I don't want to be spending a lot of time doing school stuff when I could be sleeping because I need my sleep to be a functioning human being. The other thing is... I could do work on weekends because my mom offered a long time ago and I hope she remembers this but she said you know I'll come in take care of the baby so you can do work for work while you're at home on the weekends so got my fingers crossed that she still wants to do that because she's gonna be taking care of the baby during the week while I'm at work anyway so that might be a bit much I guess we'll see what happens um, I also have my husband who can take care of the baby while I get work done and also, I mean, by then he'll probably be more on a schedule, be able to sleep better. These are the things that I'm thinking about to reassure myself is by the time I go back to work, he won't be as old as I'd hoped, but he'll be a little bit older. So hopefully things will be better. Basically, I just need to breathe. And that's kind of why I wanted to vlog. Just let this nervous, anxious energy out so I can kind of just take a step back and breathe and relax. So I think... Today I want to devote myself to figuring out recipes. 
um, and things I can do to meal plan. So hopefully my next vlogging session is an update on that. I just wanted to film a brief update because I pinpointed my sources of overwhelm. So the first one is baby Russell. The formula that we were giving him last week was not agreeing with him. So he was up constantly and not napping throughout the day, which meant that I wasn't able to get things done during the day. So there was that. Now this week, the thing is he's having a growth spurt. So it's kind of the same thing. He's sleeping right now. So, so I'm a little bit anxious because I'm like, let me get as much done as I can while I can. So there's that. The second thing is it's back to school. So I never set up any goals for the summer whatsoever. It was just kind of like, well, let me have a child. And that was my big goal. So the beginning of the summer when I was home and able to get stuff done, I was working on teachers pay teacher stuff, which was one of my goals for the summer. I mean, I didn't have like school goals for the summer, which normally I would have had a bunch of things set up that I wanted to do and get done. So. I worked on my te teacher's pay teacher store. I have a couple things to finish up. I didn't do everything that I wanted to do and that's totally okay because that just means I'm going to have products hopefully getting posted sometime during the school year instead of getting everything posted in the summer and then being dry throughout the school year. So there's that. And once I had him, it was just about enjoying everything and just soaking it in and adjusting because this is a big adjustment. So. It's been a, a month almost. No, it's been three weeks. So it's been three weeks and um, I've just had a lot of like downtime where I'm just sitting constantly and I'm sitting with him and he's falling asleep in my arms. So then I end up on Instagram and everybody's getting ready for back to school. And it makes me feel like I need to be getting ready for back to school also, which I kind of do because I have a whole new course to teach. So that's overwhelming and what I've done was broken down the rest of the weeks that I have the summer I think I have like five weeks so I really have like three and a half weeks planned of like these are the things that I'm doing this week so this week I'm going to finish up my teachers pay teachers stuff that I can get done the products that I have ready to go and just prep my store for the sale because the sale is August 1st and 2nd and then I'm gonna set up my planner I'm going to film a video about how I'm setting up my planner um, right now I'm waiting to get a printer that I ordered, so that's coming. My hair is insane today. Sorry. Anyway, um, then my other thing is for the next week I'm going to start working on Algebra 2 stuff. I have to finish my scope and sequence. I'm going to print out my standards posters and I'm going to start working on planning out the first unit. I kind of want to plan the whole first unit just so that I can breathe because that's what I feel like is going on is I can't breathe because I do not have that done. It's also going to be challenging to do that next week because my stepdaughter is going to be here visiting. So we'll see how much I get done, which is why I'm giving myself grace. And the week after that, I'm going to continue working on Algebra 2 stuff. So that's what I have going on right now. I just want to do a little update because I'm feeling a little bit better, but still kind of anxious. I really thought once I had everything planned out, I'd feel better. So I just wanted to film that brief update because now that I have a plan in place, I'm feeling a lot better. And now I'm just ready to start and put everything into action. So I just wanted to film a quick little update. I decided to go outside because the air conditioners inside keep kicking on, it's really annoying. But anyway, it's Friday, August 3rd, and I feel good about what I've been able to accomplish for this week. So I planned out like overall what I plan to do each week that I have left for summer. Um, side note, tomorrow's August 4th, which would make it officially one month until back to school. So I have a month and one day until the first day of school. So anyway, I figured out what I'm doing week by week and I did not go crazy and schedule out everything for the rest of the summer, but I just have like my main focuses. So what I did for this week was in one planner, like my pretty planner, I went and kind of said, Monday through Thursday, these are the tasks that I plan to accomplish. And then I have my other planner, which is like my back and forth planner that I take with me to school and at home. And that one is like my to-do list planner. So every night I would set up what I'm doing for the next day in my to-do list planner. So it kind of gave me a little bit of leeway. I'm having such a hard time explaining this. Wednesday night, baby Russell did not sleep well, which meant Thursday was kind of shot for us. Um, we ended up going to my mom's for dinner. I had two hours to myself. I just went shopping, got school supplies, came back, and 
I didn't get done everything that I had originally planned to get done. So I forget how the two different planners are working into this, but I meant to incorporate that somehow. Anyway, I didn't have Friday totally scheduled out yet, so I was able to take what I was doing on Thursday and kind of split it up and say, this is what I'll get done on Friday, this is what I'll get done on Saturday, and that has kept me sane. The other thing that's been working for me is just when I get baby Russell to sleep during the day, I know that I have a finite, limited amount of time to get stuff done, so I've been able to just get up and actually go do stuff. And I've never been so happy to clean in all my life. But my downstairs is clean, I got my planner set up and ready to go, and I forgot what the other thing was that I did this week, but I got that done too. So now I can actually start focusing on Algebra 2 a little bit to get ready for that for the year. And I think that's it. Today is Wednesday, August 8th. This week we have my stepdaughter until Friday. So we got her Monday, so I haven't been vlogging anything. I also have not been doing as much work, which was expected. I'm really trying to focus on my family. My son is one month old today and I just want to spend time with him and my stepdaughter together because this is the only time we have with her this summer. So my goals for this week were to work on the Algebra 2 scope and sequence. Um, print out standards posters for Algebra 2 and work on planning out Algebra 2 Unit 1, which really is going to be a review unit. So that's going to be Unit 0 and I still have to plan out Unit 1, which is okay. And I mean, I have to create handouts and whatever I'm going to do anyway. I'm considering doing weekly homework assignments instead of daily, not that I did it every day, but it's an idea right now that's floating around. and. I'm and I'm kind of glad just to have this week to let that idea marinate and not have to act on anything right now. So because I'm not focusing on the work that I want to get done for the week, I kind of gave myself just more grace this week. And next week, I'm definitely going to have my plans for Unit 0 and Unit 1 for Algebra 2 finished, or at least that's what the plan is. When it comes to my scope and sequence, I'm not happy with what I have right now, but I'm happy to let it be a work in progress. My geometry scope and sequence has developed over years and it continues to change and I just have to accept that's the process and the same thing is going to happen with Algebra 2, so I feel like I should not get myself crazy over it not being perfect right now and just add to it and tweak it as the year goes on. So those are the compromises that I've made with myself and I'm just the type of person that if I'm not doing something actively productive, I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time and wasting time is like an anxiety trigger for me. So I was kind of worried about not really accomplishing anything for the week, but I accomplished enough I think and, and I'm really just giving myself that time to not get it done this week. So I'm okay with it. I basically gave myself permission to not complete my tasks and it's made a huge difference for me. I've not done an update in so long and I feel like I'm so out of practice right now. It's Thursday, August 23rd. I have not done a good update in a while. The last update I think I gave was during the week that my stepdaughter was here. So the week before I felt like I was in a good routine and I was happy and then we had my stepdaughter. There is no routine when she's here because we only get to see her two, three times a year for Lucky and it's for less than a week. So it's always like a break in routine and I was expecting that, so that was fine. The week after we had so many appointments, we had a lot of running around to do, we were in and out and it was just crazy. So I feel like everything has descended into chaos and it's really not that bad, it's just my perception because for the first time I have very little control over things and I don't like it. Last week, actually it was last Thursday, my husband and I tried this thing out where we had a block of time and we were alternating every hour. So for the first hour, I was 100% taking care of the baby and then we switched and I got to do work for the second hour and then we switched again and everything was great. That worked out really well because it's good just having this block of time where you know this is the time that you have to get your stuff done and it makes it just easier to get it done you actually get it done faster. Like, I tried that out with cleaning my bathrooms, and I cleaned my bathrooms in about 30 minutes, all three of them, and it usually takes much longer. 
just having that time limit really sets your focus. So that was great. But again, by Friday we had appointments and we were running around. So it didn't stay that way. Then my in-laws were here this past Sunday, Monday, left Tuesday morning. Tuesday, my husband started orientation for his new job. He's working in a new district this year. He left where he was because it was both figuratively and literally a toxic environment. So he's in a new district. His orientation was Tuesday through Thursday, eight to three, which on its own is fine. Like I could handle, you know, being here alone by myself with a baby for that amount of time. I mean, I have to get used to it. It's going to happen. What made it extra difficult was both Tuesday night and Wednesday night, my husband had gigs because he's a musician. And these are things that he committed himself to at the beginning of the summer before he knew what was going on with, you know, this new job. So he couldn't back out of it or anything. So I really just had the last two days almost completely by myself with the baby. And it's just been hard to get things done. And I'm frustrated and just stressed out about my lack of progress for preparing for the new school year. Right now, the big news is that I had my six week checkup with my doctor yesterday and I am clear to go back to school. So next Tuesday, we start our professional development days and I will be vlogging next week, like kind of how I would do normal classroom vlogs. So school technically starts for us next Tuesday, the 28th. We go back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we have professional development days. So we have all the meetings and the stuff that we are required to do every year. And I'm going to be focusing as much as possible on just preparing for back to school. So I think I'm really toying with the idea of one day we have just for workshops. I'm seriously thinking that I might do one workshop and not two. So I did want to take a moment just to talk about the progress that I was able to make in these past few weeks. So the big thing was trying to prep my Algebra 2 course as much as possible because it's going to be brand new to me and if I just have a little bit done, it's going to relieve me quite a bit. So first thing I had to do was finish up my scope and sequence. So for my scope and sequence, I have a decent outline of what I'm teaching and when. It's broken down into units and topics with objectives and standards, and I have all that in place. But I basically ended up copying it from the school that I went to as a student because they post their curriculum online. And I really need to pare it down because they have like the objective of every little detailed thing happening in the lesson. And I like my overarching objectives because I have to write them on the board. I don't want to write down every little thing. So I need to go through it. And I just decided I'm going to do it unit by unit. So my scope and sequence is now being declared a work in progress. The other thing that I got done was my algebra two standards posters. So so I keep folders in my classroom of all the standards. I have the same thing for geometry. I showed it in one of my organization videos, but basically I print out the standards and I post these up in my classroom because I have to, which is really annoying because students don't care what the standards are. Administrators do. So I have everything printed out so that it's ready to go throughout the year. So that was a big thing to get done. The other thing that I'm working on is just material for Algebra 2 and there's a website called eMath Instruction and it was put together by a New York teacher so I know it's going to align to our standards and basically everything's there. He gives us notes and homework and videos of him explaining the notes and that's all free and if you wanted to pay for it you can get the answer keys, you can get workbooks for students. So it's really cool but I'm so grateful for what is free because I almost purchased an entire curriculum on Teachers Pay Teachers for like $150 or something. So while that's not something that I'd normally do, I kind of like taking the time to build the curriculum myself. I don't have that time anymore because I have a new baby. So I printed out every worksheet, like note sheet and homework from eMath Instruction. And I was going to go through it over the summer and kind of reteach myself some stuff for algebra two because realistically I have not done some of this math since I was 15 years old. The other thing is I do interactive notebooks with geometry and I love them and I was originally not planning to do interactive notebooks in algebra two because it's a lot of work just to set everything up. I was thinking you know maybe I'll get that together next summer. 
I went through and set up my unit zero and my unit one as notebook pages. So just having that done, I feel like there's a lot of weight taken off my shoulders, but I am going to do interactive notebooks with Algebra 2 this year and I'm determined to make it work. It's going to happen, so I'll make it happen. Having my in-laws here was a godsend because my mother-in-law wanted to hold the baby and feed him and take care of him a little bit. So that freed me up to get some things done. So I finished the notebook pages and I'm still working on my plans for the first two weeks. I really, really wanted to have those done and solidified, but that's what I'm currently working on and that's what I'll be working on today. And I need to iron out my routines and procedures. Some of them I didn't really follow through with really well last year, so I want to go everything again, see if there's anything that I could tweak or change so that it works better for me. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. That's kind of a biggie. So those are my two big main goals. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to change my homework board so that I can have it for four different preps. And that's something that I'm going to be working on hopefully Monday. My goal for over the weekend is to just make sure I know what I'm doing when I go into my classroom on Monday. For example, I have to redesign my homework board because I now have a fourth prep. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be as difficult as it sounds. I might even be able to condense it down to one board because I have two on the side that I use for all my homework and announcements and everything. But I think I have an idea where I might not need both of them anymore. And in general, I just want to have a plan so that I go in knowing precisely what I'm doing on Monday and I can just try to bang it out as much as possible. And I just want to be really efficient so that I'm not stressed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week because I still have stuff to do in my classroom. The other thing that's really stressing me out, and I probably mentioned this before, I want my syllabi done and that, you know, I could get done next week. It'll be fine. But my school decided to change their grading policy as in they decided to actually have one. So I can't copy my syllabi until I know the new grading policy. So that's been on my mind actually since like April because they announced that they were going to have that and that they're gonna tell us about it in August. And I've been so aggravated ever since because I'm like, why couldn't we just do that in June? So I'm going to wrap up my vlog here because clearly I have a lot of work to do. Also, my living room is a disaster because I took all of my clothes out and I'm sorting them, trying to purge stuff, trying to get the maternity stuff out of my closet even though I'm not totally ready for that. There's just a lot going on, so I need to wrap this up. Little boy's starting to fuss anyway, and I will be vlogging next week as I go back to school and set up my classroom, and I will vlog the following week for back to school. So that's everything for this vlog. It's not going to be the vlog I envisioned because I really wanted to basically show how I was still getting work done even though I had all this going on but that's not real life. This is what actually happened. So I hope it was okay. And as always, thank you for watching.